Did you know that you can import multi-track MIDI files right into GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad and it will assign instruments, do volume automation and a whole lot more? Well, it's true and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. Let's dive in. To get started, we first need a blank GarageBand project. I'm just going to tap on the audio recorder to open up and then tap on the tracks view. And now we've got a nice blank project ready to import our MIDI file. But where do you get MIDI files from? There's a heap of websites that allow you to download MIDI files. This one's midiworld.com. And if we go to files here, there's a heap of different files. Do keep copyright in mind. And especially for things like this YouTube demonstration, I'm going to choose a classical piece to download. Once you've found one, we'll come in here to the bark page that you'd like, just tap on it, hit the download button, and it will download directly into your downloads folder. Now I'm going to swipe up from the bottom and go back into GarageBand. And what we need to do is actually tap on this loop icon in the top right corner, and then tap on files. We then want to go to the browse from the files app by tapping on that one, go to the location. So in this case, my downloads folder where I just saved that MIDI file and tap on it, and it will pop it right here into your GarageBand file transfer folder. Now you might be thinking, Pete, don't we have drag and drop now with GarageBand in iPad OS 26? We do but not for MIDI files. For some reason, we still can't do the drag and drop with a MIDI file like we can with our audio files now. To import the MIDI file, go back to the loops icon in the top here and just grab this one and drag it onto a blank track and look at the magic that will happen here. There you go, it assigns an instrument, it sets up all of your different tracks here, it adjusts the tempo, and if we slide this one out, it's even got volume automation on all of these tracks. Now the cool thing is we can just play this, but then we can do some tweaking, which I'll show you in a moment. But let's take a listen to this piece. So out of the box, it sounds pretty good, yeah, but here's the cool thing. Because we're in GarageBand, we can change any of the instruments. So let's just listen to this sustained string sound. What if we wanted to change this up? What if we wanted instead an oboe sound? Well, we can come up here, tap on our little icon there, tap on the string sustain, and instead of being the strings, let's come down here and choose a different instrument. In fact, we're gonna come up to the top here and choose the oboe. And now when we play this part back again, we've now got an oboe sound. We can bring that back into our mix and it'll sound like this. So you can start rearranging classical compositions and you can see how this is going to help you with other types of music as well. And like any project in GarageBand, you can jump here into the plugins and EQ and you can change things up. By default, they may have some echo or reverb on there. And you may notice here that all the volumes are yellowed out. That's because they all have volume automation. If we tap on this one and go to automation, we can actually start turning those off by tapping on and tapping off again. So if you wanted to have more control to mix your volumes, then you can come in here to automation and fix that up. Now, a quick warning before we finish up, not all MIDI files are created equal. So some MIDI files just won't translate properly to GarageBand. It tries to pick the right instruments, but especially if you've got guitars and drums and other things in MIDI files, it can be a little bit messy. But with a little bit of patience, you can play around and get it sounding pretty good and create your own MIDI-based backing tracks right here in GarageBand. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music right here in GarageBand, check out the other videos linked in the description and I'll see you next time.